Okay, so I wanted to come back on and um, really make sure that everyone was good on how to find the missing terms of a geometric sequence. So this in and of itself doesn't tell you really what to do, only that there are missing terms. Now, without direction of, of knowing this is for sure a geometric sequence, this could be anything really. So if you look all the way back up here to our directions, it says geometric sequence. So because it says geometric sequence, I know that I'm in the land of multiply, multiply, multiply by some common ratio. So the very first thing that we talked about earlier was um, you guys all said, okay, Ms. Johnson, you have to divide. So, okay, divide first, uh, the last term by the first term, yes. Okay, so you want me to divide 972 divided by four, is that right? Yes, Ms. Johnson. Okay, so I do that, let me pull my calculator because I, off the top of my head, I don't know what 972 divided by four is. So here, I say 972 divided by four, and it says, oh, it's 243. Okay, move that real quick. So that's 243. And then we talked about, okay, well, because I have this many jumps, and in this case, it's one, two, three, four, five. I know you guys are like, Ms. Johnson, you're counting with me, yes. Because it's very important that you know how many jumps we have. So we have five jumps. And so what the jumps are gonna tell me is who is sharing this 243. So then what we talked about was we needed to write this equation, right? This equation that kind of looked like this, something to the third equals to 125. So 125 came from the fact that we divided, I got that. The three came from how many jumps we have. Oh, so in this case, it's five jumps. Exactly. So wait, let me move this and make it a little smaller so I don't have to keep moving my screen. Okay. So I want to figure out, so you want me to write an equation with that five as the exponent. Exactly. So I'm going to put a five as the exponent there. And then I'm going to put equals to 243. And I'm looking for this number that goes right in here. So I'm, I'm going to write an equation that has five as my exponent, and then I'm going to um, write equals to 243 because that's what it's equal to. Let me think of this really quick, right? So then I want to look for what number to the fifth gives me 243. So in case you don't know what that actually means on this calculator, Right. If you, in case you don't know how to do that on this calculator, no problem. I'm just going to start using numbers. I'm going to start with the number, I don't know, five. So five to the, no, no. Now, the reason why I'm using five is just because it's the number that I came into it. I actually know what to the fifth gives me 243, but I'm, I'm doing this for you all. Okay. So five to the fifth. Here's to the right here. See to the fifth. Oh, that's 3,125. That's way too big. You see how big that is? That's, that's too big. So I need to go smaller. So let me try two. So two to the fifth. Oh, that's 32. Aha, it's too small. So let me go, like, this is kind of like the Goldilocks thing. This is way too big. This is way too small. Oh, this is just right. So I'm looking for that just right. So let me try three. Three to the fifth. <gasps> 243. Okay, so what do you want me to do, Ms. Johnson? So that three is now called our common ratio. It is our common ratio. So let me write that down. Common ratio. So what, Ms. Johnson? Who cares if that's our common? Oops, sorry. Who cares if that's our common ratio? Well, our common ratio, right, is the number that belongs right here. And we multiply by three to get to the next term, by three to get to the next term, by three to get to the next term, by three, by three, by three. Very good. Okay, so Ms. Johnson, you want me to multiply by three? Uh-huh. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start off with our first guy, which is four, and I'm gonna multiply him by three. Oh, it gave me 12. So you want me to put 12 right here, Ms. Johnson? Yes. So you want, I'm going to put 12 here. Exactly. 
So then how would I get the next term? Well, you would just, again, multiply by three. So as this thing catches up to me, I'm just gonna multiply again by three. So multiply by three, and then I get 36. So I'm gonna write that in there, 36. And I'm gonna hope that this guy catches up to me eventually. If he doesn't, no problem. Look, there he goes, okay. So then, let me grab my Desmos again. I'm gonna just keep going. So then I go times three again. So that's 108. And then time, oops, not three. Oops, my bad, back up. Sorry, 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 sorry. So then I wanna go times three again. And I get 324. And then I go again. And then I get 972. And I'm so excited right now because look, that number matches that number. And then my four matches my beginning. And I have one, two, three, four, five jumps. And I have got one, two, three, four, five jumps. Now there's other ways that you could have filled all this out. But this is kind of like the recursive way. And because I already had my starting point and I had my common ratio, I just thought, why not? Okay. Um, so let's go over this so that we, we get this in our brains. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to divide. Okay. Dividing is not hard. It's something that you've been doing since like fourth and fifth grade, maybe even third and fourth and fifth grade. Right. So dividing is okay. You, you all are comfortable with that. The next part, this is where the level of what we're learning goes up a notch, right? So the next thing is, and it's kind of funny how, how I'm going to say this, is I want you to kind of figure out, I want to write that equation that looks like something to the something equals something. Now, there's a lot of somethings in my little equation that you can't see yet, but the point here is it's something which is called our common ratio. Shoot, where did I get this five again, you guys? Where did I get this five? Hmm. Oh, the five came from that five. Yeah. So this five here came from this five here, right? Oh, that doesn't look right. Sorry, it looks like it's pointing at the wrong thing. So this five here comes from this five jumps. Exactly right? Okay. So then where did this 243, come? oh, that came from you dividing. Okay. So then put, put that right here. Okay. So we divided and we put that on this side of the equation, right? We count how many jumps there are and we put that here. Let's label that number of jumps. Okay. Notice here, I'm going to make a very big point that students may make a mistake on. Look, notice I'm saying number of jumps, jumps, one, two, three, four, five, which is very different than the number of missing numbers, not the missing numbers, the number of jumps. Got it? And the last little piece is this base guy right here, which is our common ratio. So I'm just going to point at the common ratio over there. Got it? All right. I hope this makes sense to you. If not, ask me a question in class or in the comments. Thanks. Bye.